And despite how warm the past few weeks have been, hunting season is in full swing here in Arkansas. And with the cooler weather today, it's going to be a great one for hunters. In this week's Outdoor Report, Wake Up Central's Hayden Balgavy is taking a look at how the season is going so far. Well, happy Saturday morning, everybody. Now, I know you're used to seeing the handsome Scott Covert, but I'm stepping in for him this morning. Speaking of handsome men, how about Trey Reed, Arkansas Game oh, and Fish wow. on the Shore? The, all the compliments, man. You buttered what me up. What, are you going to ask me for something? Like, well, uh, no, I won't ask you for any money or take me out or anything like that. But let me tell you this, Arkansans, of course, this is prime time. Deer season, we've been talking about. Muzzle season starting next week. How's the season been going so far? It's going really well. You know, it's, it's been hot, Hayden. Yeah. You know, it's been pretty warm. And, and you know, that really doesn't necessarily really change the the deer patterns or movement probably some they may spend more time doing some nocturnal movements but what it really affects is hunters sure I mean we just don't necessarily want to go out there and swap mosquitoes <laughs> and sweat when we're climbing our you know stands and things like that but I got to tell you uh, we were doing pretty well already but this cool weather that moved in about a week ago maybe eight days ago a lot of activity last weekend among yes. the archery hunters, and we're up around 10,000 deer checked. Are already. you really? Okay. Yeah. So it's good. That was a, we basically in a week's time doubled what we did in about the first two or three weeks. Okay. So yeah. That show that goes to show you just what a cool snap will do. People get excited oh, and want to get out there and go. Well, today's going to be great, too. Temperature is going to be absolutely perfect on this Saturday. Now, next week, let's talk about next week. Yeah, we get next, it going? next week is a big one. That is the opening of muzzle loading season. That'll All be right. our first firearms deer season this year in, in Arkansas. And so, also, uh, yeah, everybody's getting excited. There, we'll, we'll have another big spike in those uh, check deer numbers uh, a week from 10, today. 10,000, 11,000, yeah, 12,000. Yeah, it'll be up there around 30,000, 40,000 probably by, <laughs> by uh, about eight or nine days from now. But uh, yeah, so muzzleloading season coming up. A uh, couple of things I want to remind folks about. Uh, not a lot of regulations changes this year, but one thing that's still relatively new for people. Uh, youth hunters. I mean, mm. the youth season's only about two or three weeks away, the special youth modern gun hunt, first weekend in November. But if you're going to have a youngster out there uh, for the muzzleloading hunt, get them a customer ID number, okay. which is free. You just go to agfc.com the same way you buy your license. Now, it doesn't cost anything. What it's going to eliminate is like having to get that number when they shoot a deer and go to check it. Right. Because every, you know, in the past, what's happened is the adult mentor has checked that deer on their tag and then. Well, then all of a sudden they have one less deer tag. So mm. this is a way where you don't have to use the adults tag. And uh, every hunter has to have a customer ID number now. So just go take care of that. It's free. It's easy. AGFC.com. AGFC.com too. Now, all that fun, all that excitement, the subject nobody wants to talk about what we have to. CWD, we got to discuss it, yeah. make sure folks are being smart. Yeah, no, Hayden, happy to talk about it. Look, we didn't have any new cases of chronic wasting disease in our white-tailed deer last year, which is great news. Mm. Uh, but one of the ways we keep track of what's going on, of course, we have the area where it's pretty prevalent or up in Newton County where okay. we first found it, showed up uh, near the Louisiana border near Felsenthal National Wildlife Refuge two years ago. Uh, so. What we're asking hunters to do is to have that deer tested okay. and there are over a hundred locations uh, where you can have that done, either a drop off freezer, uh, a participating taxidermist. I didn't know there were that many. There are a bunch. There's one okay. in every county. Nobody should be more than about a half hour drive from one no matter where they hunt. Go to agfc.com slash cwd to find all of, uh, anything you want to know about chronic wasting gotcha. disease, but also a map with those locations. And here's the kicker, Hayden. If you get your deer tested, you will be put into a drawing for a free lifetime hunting and fishing license. Come on. $1,000 lifetime hunting and fishing license. We're giving away two. And I say we, the Arkansas Game and Fish <laughs> Foundation Include has yourself. purchased two of those licenses okay. uh, to, to give away to, uh, again, anybody that has a deer tested this season will mm -hmm. go into a drawing, we'll pull up two names, chance to win a lifetime license. So you're going to buy Powerball tickets every other day. Now <laughs> you got a much better opportunity to win one of those one or two, and it's so important. You're doing the right thing and you got a chance to win. Yeah, that's a great thing. It, it helps the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission keep tabs on the spread of chronic wasting disease and we can find out you know quickly if it shows up someplace else and then make uh, management decisions and regulation changes accordingly perfect now all we need is an orange blazer for the woods you're good to go looking sharp That's right thank you Aiden. looking sharp good to see you Trey. <laughs> good to always. see you man good nice to, to see you this weekend folks remember all that stuff okay and it's hunting season next week's going to be big already seen the big numbers on the deer and of course cwd make sure again over 100 locations to test those deer after you get done. Trey, thanks as always, brother. Thanks, Hayden. Good to see you.